Welcome to Elite Let Sleeping Dust Lie. My least favorite quest in the Veil. I do love the Veil in general, but this is my least favorite quest. And before I talk about anything else, one of the things I want to mention is that if you are an enlightened spirit warlock and you have your aura going, you cannot drown. Because even if your breath meter goes all the way down, the damage you start to take is never more than you get from your aura. So you're good to go. No need for a water breathing item on an enlightened spirit warlock if your aura is going. Pretty cool little fringe benefit there. Level 18. Let's see where we're at. So I've got things pretty much where they're going to be. Uh, I've got every enhancement now that I wanted from Soul Eater. This is as, pretty much as far as I'm going to go. It is as far as I'm going to go. I may or may not pick up a point of charisma, but that's neither here nor there. So I got my 5% crit chance. Totally awesome. Got my Steel Life Force all the way uh, maxed out there. And I've got the extra uh, consume damage and then the vulnerability and we'll see if all of our dreams come true during epic levels and heroic levels I wasn't expecting to see anything you know super exciting but let's see if it makes a significant difference with the bosses and epics because that's that was the whole point of this and remember this is an experiment this isn't my regular build I don't normally do soul leader enlightened spirit I usually do tainted scholar with the enlightened spirit but I just wanted to try something different this life and we're going to take it all the way to cap like this to see if we like it. With the Enlightened Spirit, so uh, the only thing actually I think I picked up here is Beacon. Oh, I also filled out the uh, PRR and picked up some MRR. So I'll be spending one more point here. I have 72 spent. I have 8 to go. So here's one more here. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 with the con. And then that'll leave 2. Could be a point of charisma. Could be the Displacement SLA, which would... If I picked up the Displacement SLA that would then allow me to ditch the, S the regular spell and I could pick up I think Dar Dark Disc Corporation which I would like to get okay probably pick up the Displacement SLA because I do want to experiment more with Dark Disc Corporation there's some pretty cool things that you can do uh, with that let's take a look at the gear we got here what's different there's a little New Orleans accent there right <laughs> so got the uh, smoke goggles still uh, the hardened hide armor this comes from the optional chest in the underdark optional of search and rescue it's not a bad set of medium armor you know, you don't have to go out of your way for it. There's nothing super special about it. But it's a decent set of medium armor. I uh, got uh, Strength 6 and Con 7 on the bracers. That was, that was a random gen item. This is a crafted Good Luck Plus 2 Evocation Focus 2. Still got the all-on Freedom of Movement Kondrak Delving Boots from Vault and Night Raid. Dashing Gloves. Uh, awesome, awesome gloves for a Fey Pact. Uh, you got your Sonic Lore 16, Resonance 108, Other Goodies 2, Quality Charisma 2, Quality Perform 4, Green Slot, Super Duper Item. This comes from Good Intentions in the Harbor. It's one of the newest quests, uh, Update 31. Uh-oh, this is uh, blinking at me for some reason. I don't know why it does that sometimes. Circle of Hatred from the Abbott Raid. I just, I have Resistance Intimidate as well. It's nice because I'm a tank. Certainly not a critical item. And this is, why are these, I, this isn't going to come through in the video, I'm sure, but it's like blinking rapidly, and it's not giving me the hover tooltip, but it can't, it is on that, but not on that. And I've noticed that sometimes. I've captured it on video once or twice before. I don't know what the deal is, but that's the Min 2 Belt, plus 45 hit points, Protection 5, Heavy Fort, very nice heroic green steel item. Got some uh, constitution skills on there too, that helps concentration. Still got the Night Singer's Mantle, Blindness Immunity, 5% Blindness Chance on Sonic's Bell Hit, 
Reform 13, Diamond of Charisma 4, Empowered Dread, and that comes from one of the Weiloon pre-quests. You know, they get the three three quests in Evening Star in the north as you're going down to Weiloon. Those three pre-quests, I th think this one is from the middle one, Escape Plan. I'm not sure it's one of those. Empowered Dragon Scale comes from the end chest in Search and Rescue. This is the heroic version, of course. Quality Constitution 1, False Light 32, Insightful 42, Plus 3, Fire Resistance 32, Green Slot. I mean, just an awesome, awesome, just general function trinket. You know, good for really any class. Silver Flame Talisman, Pansophic Circlet. I've been trying to help a friend farm for this and just. We've seen just terrible, terrible drop rate. I mean, we, we've looted that chest like 20 times and, and, you know, counting everybody who's pulling it, not, and we haven't seen one. We've seen the knife toed boots and oh, the other item that comes from there, but this circle has been evasive for us. Still got the Fanion. This is from the Shield of Legends turn in and Upper Necro, and this is just a random gen. Radiance 87, Bastard Sword with Radiance Lower 12. Why a Bastard Sword? I'm not proficient in it, who cares, it's just a caster stick. I'm not trying to do damage with my weapon, I'm just trying to benefit my casting stats. If my weapon hits when I swing it, great, if it doesn't, who cares? Okay, where are we now? We need to get through this underwater maze that's fun to watch newbies drown in. How do we get through it? Left, 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 left. Always left except for when you go down there, see? That's the only way to go there. See, it's the only way to go here, but now we have a choice. Left. And here's another choice. Which way? Left. And which way? Left. It's actually not a very big e area, but I've seen people get lost in there, and it's kind of funny. Left, 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 left. Boofs going on here. So I've done a video for this before, but it was on uh, the Druid back when I was doing my Shard of Kryolize. It's like two years ago, so I thought I'd do a newer video. And, you know, on the Warlock now. Different class. Now, if you're new to this quest, you want to not kill spiders, generally speaking. But, Really, you just have, you want to avoid killing spiders after you pick up the first quest item, which is a journal that you're looking for. And the journal is in one of six random locations. Now, there are ways to get some extra chests. One of them is, is killing all the ogre magi, and I, something to do with not killing any spiders. I don't know. I don't care. I'm not going to talk about it. I never do them. I don't know them for sure. This is junk chests anyways. Bottom line for me is, I don't care about killing spiders until after I pick up the first journal. Now, at the end of each hall, and there's going to be six different paths, there's going to be a door. It's actually not the end of the hall, but it's just sort of each path is divided into two sections, and you can't get into that, like, back section until you get the first journal, which will spawn the first orange name, which will drop the first key, which will then give you access to the doors that let you into the back parts of each of these zones, each of these six hallways. The spiders, by the way, will become non-aggressive once you kill all the ogres in their little area. Let's see what our consuming stricken hit for. Okay, so this is here's our stricken 504. Let's see what consume is like. It's not very exciting. 185, 59, 145, 79. So supplemental, supplemental boss DPS.
and I'm going to go ahead and just pick up my three collectibles. Remember, collectibles are going to be so much more important in the new Kenneth Crafting DDO. We're going to be using a lot more collectibles, so get in the habit of picking up your collectibles. Hell, that might even be released by the time this video goes up, because I'm like, I've got like six videos in the queue ready to go before this one. Day I just posted about an hour ago my video on how to solo the entrance of Burning Heart. So that gives you an idea where I'm at in real time. Okay, here's our journal. Ruddy cuz Ruddy Ka Taiwan Taiwan's journal. So we're gonna go ahead and pick it up. Some people like to clear all six halls. Okay, so you got I guess maybe our seven halls. One got one, two, three, one there, three, four, whatever, six, seven halls. So some people like to clear all the bottom halls first. And then pick up the journal. I I usually just pick up the journal when I find it. You know, you do whatever your group's doing. Do whatever you like. I'm going to pick it up now. The important point is, you do not kill spiders after you pick up the first journal. See, now it says in the upper right-hand corner, kill, failure, kill five or more crimson foot. Those are the spiders. I guess they have red feet. So, you can kill up to four. But let's not try to kill any, okay? We don't want to push it to the limit. There's that Rick Ross song again. Important things to do, okay? One, turn off your frickin' aura. Two, don't burst anymore, okay? None of this action. You're gonna kill spiders. Turn off your aura. Three, turn off auto-targeting. The G, as in golf, is gonna toggle auto-targeting on and off, enable, disable, enable, disable. Okay, the reason why is because, especially if you have multiple people in the group, okay, so let's say you're both insta-killing, for example, or both, whatever, you're both tar and you both happen to be targeting the same mob. Well, if one of your, like, say, finger of death goes off a split second before the other, let's say the other guy's finger of death goes off a split second before yours, yours is going to auto-target the next available mob, and if that next available mob is a spider, well, then you just screwed the pooch, my friend. So turn off auto-targeting. You, you want to make sure that um, if your target becomes invalid, it doesn't just switch to the next available target. Turn off auto-target, turn off your aura, no bursting, turn off your frickin' colors of the queen, okay? If that procs like a sunburst or some AoE effect, Again, pooch, screwing. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> and then you're going to be a sad puppy. Uh, that's two canine metaphors in a row. That's all you're getting from me. Um, what else? Take off any guards if you got any, like, especially if you got, like, insta kill guards. I mean, there's some green steel, like, uh, destruction or. I don't know, whatever. You got any guards? What's the damaging guards, insta kill guards? Or take them off. You don't want spiders hitting you and and dying. They have a lot of hit points by today's standards. All right, let's go and not kill some spiders. So now. <laughs> we got lucky because we're looking for this guy and he could have been down any of the halls and he happened to be the one that we were in so I'm just gonna turn my aura back on I'm gonna burst and there are no spiders around here stricken consume burning blood so the burning blood's not very exciting but it's some supplemental damage We'll see what happens in epics. Look at him trying to get behind me. Steal life force. What does that do? 
465 and then I healed some from it too. It's not a bad source of healing. And so there's our first key. So that key again is going to let us to get into the back uh, parts of these areas. So where I picked up the journal there was a door I wouldn't have been able to get past that was locked. This key lets me get past all those doors. Turn off your aura again. Go back into. I'm going to go into blast dance. Okay, so now we're looking for the upper for the second journal, and so I guess traditionally you could just search all the different halls and go to the upper parts and see if it's there. But you can actually see the journal from down here by using whatever key that you use to target non-combat targets. For me, it's backspace. For maybe it's like for maybe it's used like you. It's like a Q and E whatever you, you use to target non-combat targetables. Okay, so I'm going to backspace around. It can be up here by this rest shrine. It would be right there. So if you were here and you were targeting non-combat targetables, if you were cycling through that, you would pick it up. We know it's not there. The second place it can be is right here, and it looks like it is because I can see the little sparklies. Oop, no, that's some rubble. Some Barney rubble. That's not it. The third place it can be... Oops losing my bearings. Okay, so it's not there. The third place it can be is up here. Okay, and I, I find I have to jump to pick it up, and there it is. So I'm jumping, and there's the the second journal. So we know that that's the way that we need to go. Okay, so let's see. Where are we at? Let's get our bearings here. So I just need to go this way. I know that this way is the right way. And this was the entrance hall. So yesterday I was doing I, one of the you know I usually try to avoid the epic bulk quests, you know save those for later. But I do like to do the legendary shroud flagging because that way I'm, I'll be flagged right away at level twenty. Otherwise, you know those are pretty high level, and you know I. I'm not going to sit there and do them at like level 20, 21. At least not in Legendary Elite. Be crazy? Come on. Uh, and I wanted to see since since the uh, Misty Escape, this thing, boom. Since it makes you go like through mobs and you're like ethereal, I wanted to see if I could go through Garko in his red cube. To save you some embarrassment, I'm going to tell you now the answer is no. You cannot miss the escape through Garko and the Red Cube. <laughs> it kills you. Okay, so we don't want to kill any spiders. What do we do? What do we do? Oh my god! If you had insta-kills, you could use that. If you're a druid, you could use, um, you know, like your dots. If you're melee, just be careful to single target. But let's see. We're going to do, like, we're going to do consume, burning blood, and we're going to shoot this guy with... Stricken, and we're gonna hit him with steel life force. And we're gonna blast him. Oh, he disappeared. You can also use, you can freely use acid spells too, because acid doesn't target or doesn't hurt the spiders. So I killed all the ogres that were around him, uh, these spiders, and they have gone non-aggressive, and they'll disappear shortly. It's interesting that they went non-aggressive with just this guy just disappearing. He wasn't actually dead yet, but. That's what happens. You saw it here. No spiders around. We can burst these methods. Be careful. So you can blast. Just make sure that you know you're real close, and you don't want the spiders to be between. Be to be between you and your target, otherwise the blast will hit the spiders. And here is our second journal. Voila. Now we're going to jump down, and the second orange name that we're looking for to get the next key, which will open up that door, is always here. The first orange name uh, is in a random hall, but this guy is always here. 
and you might have noticed that the dungeon master screws up their names. See when you, when uh you kill this guy, he says Kazi falls, blah blah blah. But this is not Kazi, this is Yuri. And the other guy, he screws up the name, calls him Yuri. I don't have the Dungeon Master's voice on right now, but the text is correct. Okay, we'll get Yuri's key. Open this guy. Now we gotta talk to Lycosa. Just click on her. You can buffer. Give her a little blur action. You can give her... Oh, GH. Um, you could even give her like uh, resist cold because the ogre magi does cold damage. You can't hurt her, so feel free to burst. Just make sure that you know you got to be careful though, you, especially if you're like in a pug. And I hate pug in this one. You got jokers that are like aggroing spiders, and then they don't kill the the ogres, and then they drag those spiders here. You know, you're bursting, and all of a sudden, some, some jerk pulls in a bunch of aggressive spiders, and you're bursting, and they come up from behind you. Again, with the screwing of the pooch. So, if you want to get up there, you just jump up at the crack. There's not really any advantage, okay? There's nothing special up here. It's just that right there. But, it can be fun to go up there and just kill those guys right away as they spawn. There are multiple people in your party. One person can go up there if you want. And make sure that you clear this zone of all ogres before you leave. Because if there is just even one ogre up there ranging Lycosa down while you continue, she's going to die, and you're going to fail, and you're going to be sad. Don't say I didn't warn you. doing fire too so you can hit Lycosa with resist fire. I like to carry uh, these wands that I find, these wands of resist energy 11th level. N not only because I don't have that spell on this tune, I don't think I do, but um, you know, even on tunes that do have resist energy as a spell, you know that, that can be a nice mana saver. You know, like you're, you're doing a quest and you want to buff up an NPC, you want to hit him with all the resists, you know, why waste your mana? Use a frickin' wand. Now this boss here is a funny, this is a little dev humor here if you never notice. See his name? Kamlal, K-K-O-M-G-L-O-L. Okay, remember, you want to kill all these guys up here. Don't leave anybody alive up here. Jump at the crack to get up. Make sure you killed any disappearing axe, too. Okay, so as long as you kill everybody here, and there's nobody up there, Lycosa is going to be fine. Put the aura back on for now. Get your chest. Shrine up if you want to. Now, next tip. We're going to go down there. The gate is up, so we got to drop down through. This drop down is not open until now. We drop down, immediately go to the side so you don't get hit by these spikes. Okay? And do not pull this. This lever opens that gate. You should get in the habit of not pulling this. If people are on the other side of the gate and they're like, pull the lever, let me in, you can tell them to climb their lazy asses up the ramp and go down from the top. And the reason why you don't want to open the gate, 
the reason why you don't want to open the gate is because if there are aggressive spiders outside, they're going to follow you through the gate. If you drop down, they will not follow you through the drop down. Of course, monster pathing is kind of screwed up anymore. So, hell, maybe the maybe the, maybe the spiders would drop down. I don't think they will. I haven't seen that happen. But they definitely uh, obviously can't follow you through the gate if the gate's down. So you got a trap here, right there. Just avoid it. And then in these, um, there are like some side rooms that give you the solution to the puzzle wheels. See, blue H, it's always the same. So if you already know from previous times, it's blue H, it's orange helmet, and red scorpion. If you're like, what the, what do you mean scorpion helmet? Look at my video on how to do the Von 4 puzzle wheel. See, orange helmet. And then it'll make sense because I, I it's good to know some common names for those runes. Because sometimes you need to communicate to other party members like, oh, it, it's this or that. Another trap. You know, and you don't want to sit there and be like, oh, it's it's the it's the one with the thing sticking out of the side and the, and the circle and the thing over here. You don't want to play that game. You just want to be like, it's the scorpion, and have everybody understand what that is. And I'm not making this stuff up. Like the, This is what I've picked up over the years. Here's some common names that people use. This is the stuff I'm just pulling on my butt. But there, you know, there is some disagreement, you know, like the one that I call uh, Alien. I've seen somebody else, uh, Mr. Snyder, can't remember his name, but he called it Fire on his site. But I don't think he, I don't think that dude plays anymore. Dotica. But he used to have a site, and that was a good tip. Those that had that site was a nice resource back in the day. When I was new, used to go there. Okay, so Red Scorpion. That's the scorpion. Turn off the aura. Now, we haven't killed any. Because we're ballers. So, I, there's only four spiders in the end fight. So I could just go in there and like burst away. But I'm not going to do that. did this last night with my with a guildie and a friend. And we had, and one of my friend, my guildie was a bard. And so he just like put the spiders to sleep. That was pretty awesome. You can also stone the spiders to get them out of your way right away. So orange is the helmet. Boom. And you're like, how the hell do you get a helmet out of that? Watch the video, and it'll all make sense. Some people call that one the archer. And, okay, so blue is the H. And I think you can dark delirium these guys. Yep, but dark delirium is such a long cooldown that you can only get one. Dancing, that's okay. We'll hit the Harper pin. Good to go. Spiders follow me over here. That's okay, I just jump over here. And then I hit the spider and when he walks by. And boom! That is Let Sleeping Dust Lie. I hope you learned something. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you have questions about my videos, uh, you can respond on YouTube. And if you have questions about my build, you can respond in the Warlock forums. And if you're on Sarlona, you are welcome to send me a tell.